Hello, hello, Crafty Mantis here, and welcome back to another episode on the Realm of Bastin. So, I, um, over the last week, I have been working on this area over here. Um, as you can see, I have done some texturizing and stuff. There's still more that I need to do. Um, I kind of stopped right here because that is going to be getting into the actual stairway up. So, um, that's, that's the reason why this looks unfinished, <laughs> but... But yeah, so and then I started, you know, I started adding in the little caps and stuff to the stones. Um, definitely not finished. There's a, all the way up there. Because the goal is to pretty much mob proof the entire area and then add in a little bit more texture once I get in all the slabs and stairs. Because as you can see over there, there's a little stair and then, you know, moves into a slab and then, you know, all over the place. So let's go ahead and pop over here. But yeah, for the most part, you know, you can pretty much just walk your way up. And there are some areas, as you saw, you know, where... Not, you know, not so much, but um, the idea is that, you know, you'll be able to just basically walk up um, and, you know, somewhat randomized in terms of height uh, because, you know, like here I have a slab and then a stair and then a slab. Um, and so, you know, that's kind of what it is. And then we've got the, the anisite, and I think I mentioned, you know, I probably mentioned this in a previous video, but the anisite is right next to the lava um, as the lava is kind of, you know, like cooking the stone and stuff. So it's a little bit darker next to the lava and then it moves up into cobblestone the further away from the lava it gets. Um, and then I also ended up working on the area over here. So we've got this area all textured other than, you know, other than the walls. So all of this, all of the floor has been, you know, has been added in. And so we've got, you know, like I said, the anisite moving into the cobblestone and then around the edges, that is where the cobblestone is because the stone around that area is kind of, um, it's crumbling, you know, from the people walking through and just normal wear and tear on the cave. And so the cobblestone kind of sits, you know, sits around the edges and, you know, that way also you, we can make it so that you can walk up and with, without any problems. And then, you know, we got some stone interspersed within here. Um, you know, and then in some of the flat areas I added just random, cobblestone just to just to add a little bit more interest to this area granted there is a lot going on in in this area because as you can see I've definitely added a lot more unfortunately I couldn't find any diamond ore so I took what little diamonds I had left and I made four diamond blocks <laughs> so those those are the only diamonds that we have in this area but we do have you know um we've got iron we've got redstone and lapis and gold and I think oh and then we got gold blocks over there um those were there in the last episode because I actually had some gold but yeah and I just added random you know little piles of um crates and chests throughout the area because you know they just kind of threw everything in here and I might still add a little bit more um you know I was thinking about maybe doing some hay bales uh you know as the, when the dragon priests were alive, they did need, you know, some kind of source of food and stuff. So that is, you know, kind of this area. Um, like I said, I still need to add a little bit more details and stuff in here. And then of course, trying to figure out the lighting issue because the carpets, we have, uh, the gray carpets, but they are stone brick. And so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't necessarily go in this area. So not sure, you know, still not sure what I want to do with the actual lighting. Oh, and the other area that I had textured was actually over here. Um, so I ended up coming through here. Still need, you know, because like this section here I hadn't gotten to because I wasn't sure what I was going to be doing in this part of the, the wall. And so I still need to add a little bit of cobblestone. So we've got, you know, it's lightened up in a little bit of area. So we've got the anisite and the cobblestone going on in here. So, yeah, so definitely, definitely making some progress. And then the other thing that I did... Um, I was able to talk to Fix. Um, we weren't able to, you know, kind of get our schedules together so that, you know, we could actually um, do the uh, the icicles over there. But, you know, I'll, you know, I'll figure something out with that. But I did talk to him about the the barrier blocks. And he says, yes, we can use the barrier blocks. So I have a line of barrier blocks coming up here so that we can actually have a ladder that goes all the way up. Um, and then it comes into this cave here and this is actually a way out. So we've got another ladder that comes up here. So this is how, this is how the dragon priests ended up bringing in, you know, bringing in all the goods and stuff, um, as there's not going to really be any other entrance into the cave, um, you know, other than, cause there is going to be an entrance 
Ooh, and it is, is it turning daytime? I think it's turning daytime. Um, but there is going to be another entrance down there for where the um, fixes portal, uh, portal cave thing. Um, it's supposed to enter into my cave. And so there, that's going to be another way for pedestrians to actually be able to get in. The only other way that you're going to be able to get in is to actually drop, uh, drop down the ice cave entrance. Um, yeah, it is. Okay. It is, it is turning daytime. So we'll go ahead and come up here. So yeah, so there's all these, all these caves and stuff around here. And so, um, I was kind of checking it out and I realized that this, you know, by connecting and closing off, I think it was probably about three cave systems. Um, I was able to come up here into this, you know, um, naturally generated cave entrance. And as you, yeah, I've got it. I've got a pillar of stone there. I need to take, I need to take that down since I've actually got the, uh, since I've got the path done. But yeah, so there's this path that comes through. Um, I probably, I need to come back through and actually put in the like slabs and stuff so that, you know, you're not having to jump as you're walking through. But yeah, this, this was a cave wall. Um, I still need to come through and kind of, you know, just texture it a little bit more. Um, I don't know if I want to do that though. Uh, bleh, there we go. Um, there we go. That looks a little bit better, <laughs> but yeah, so, um, yeah, we got burning zombies. Okay. That's good. But yeah. So I ended up creating this little arch cause it's like, I don't, I don't want to go over cause this one was, you know, as you can see, it's a little bit steep to get over. And so I just created this little arch so that, you know, they, they would basically walk through this in order to get to, you know, get to the cave here. Um, and then this, uh, this actually connects up with the main road. So let's, uh, oh, oh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Yeah, no, we're good. Okay. Um, it just, it looked a little thin. Um, I was trying to keep it at about three. I mean, as you can see, what, bat, 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 bleh. Okay. There we go. I missed the spot. But yeah, so this, oh, oh my goodness. That was a creeper convention. Holy cow. Um, hi creepers. How are you? You're still following me. Okay. There we go. Um, that way he's not following me anymore. But yeah, so the, the path goes all the way, you know, all the way to where, let's see, it goes up and over here and, oh yeah, I had messed up. <laughs> I started going that way. So I need to get, I need to get some more snow layers and stuff. I don't know. Yeah. I don't have any on me, but put snow back on here. Cause I originally started going that way and realized that I needed to go that way. Um, so yeah, so that was a little bit of a mess up there, but this comes, you know, this comes around and kind of creeps. Yeah, this, this was interesting trying to get the path to, you know, kind of work that way, but made it work. And then this comes down to the main road. And as you can see, we've got the, uh, mining guild there and then the nether portal, which, you know, bad, bad nether portal. Yeah. So it comes off of the main road. And so we are now officially connected uh, that was one of the things I definitely wanted to have accomplished before uh, before the season ended, because even if you know say that I don't have the um, the dragon cave fully finished, which you know I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get it done by the end of the season, um, especially with I mean we're quickly moving into the second week of May and yeah there's still so much to do. Um, I'm probably going to be working in the um, the break in between seasons still on the you know on the cave and stuff. Cause yeah, this thing, this thing is huge and there's still so much to do on it. Um, okay, good. I think the creepers despawn, but yeah, so that is, you know, that is, you know, but I wanted to at least be able to get this area connected because then, you know, people will actually be able to find the dragon cave. Cause I know that's been one of the problems, uh, we, you know, with the members, they know I'm out here, I'm out here somewhere. They just don't know where, uh, do I have any dirt? I do not have any dirt. Um, so, so yeah, so that's, you know, I, I definitely wanted to make sure that, you know, I could, you know, the stuff could actually be found. Um, you know, that, that's, yeah, because, <laughs> you know, it, what's the point in having a build out here if nobody can actually find it? Um, you know, that's, that's, you know, one of the considerations that we definitely have to make. Um, all right. Ah, I can't, there we go. Okay. Nah, that always bugs me. I gotta, I gotta get rid of, you know, gotta get rid of those. Um, I'll probably have to go through and check to see if there's any more like that. Um, but yeah, so now, now you guys, you know, once, you know, once the world download is, you know, well, actually, no, not the world download. It's not a world download. Cause right now they're doing a tour. So I don't know. I, uh, I'll have to check with fix. Cause I don't think that there's actually going to be a realm of Vastin tour. 
thing because they're doing because right now Vast and Dimensions is actually open to you know people um, so that they can actually go in and take tours and stuff of it. They're not actually doing a world download of it. So it's definitely, you know, it's definitely interesting, you know, the way that they're doing that. Because you can actually go on with one of us and be like, hey, I want to see all these wonderful, wonderful places. And, you know, people can actually give you tours, you know, real time in it. Um, instead of, you know, possibly getting completely lost, you know, on your own. Because, yeah, trust me, this is, you know, very easy to get lost in, you know, the realm of Aston. Um, so... But yeah, so that is what I have been working on. I did, um, I did get a little bit of, um, a little bit of roof done. Not a whole lot. This, you know, um, it's definitely been taking, you know, taking a lot to, you know, actually get this done. But as you see, I, I think these two are the ones that I ended up getting done. So we still have, we still have a whole lot of, you know, a whole lot to do. And then I kind of took a break from that and decided that I wanted to work down here and, you know, get this done. Um, you know, and then continue working on that, you know, in, you know, in between, uh, cause I wanted, you know, you actually wanted something to show you guys other than randomness <laughs> up there, complete and total randomness. So for the, um, for the next episode, what I am thinking is that I might end up working on since I've pretty much got like the details down here. Um, I still need to add, you know, work on the floor and stuff over, you know, around the dragon. And then, you know, and then, of course, all the walls and stuff. You, you, you can't forget about the walls. But I am thinking that in the next episode, we'll actually work on um, adding in some of the details. Because, like, I still need to add the pile of rubble from where the ceiling had fallen in. We've got the bridge that still needs to be done. Um, and then, you know, like, the icicles and stuff. I might, because I was looking at this, and this might not, the hole might not be big enough for icicles. So, I don't know... Um, I might end up expanding that a little bit more just so we have a little bit more room to actually work on the icicles, but uh, I'm not sure on that. But yeah, so that is, um, that is pretty much the, uh, the update for what I have been working on. Um, I know it's not a whole lot of building and stuff on camera. Um, yeah, you know, that's, this that's one of the things that I've been really guilty about with the realm of Aston right now is that I definitely haven't been, um, well, I've really crossed all my, you know, all my series because, yeah, I get, I get into a building groove and then I completely, you know, forget to actually record. And then when, you know, I do have opportunities to record, um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's definitely been interesting being a content creator here of late, um, scheduling time to actually be able to record and, you know, having the, the actual opportunity to record. Yeah, it's definitely, has definitely been interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed the, you know, the little updates and stuff. Um, and then, you know, for, for the, you know, any realm of Aston members, I hope the, I hope you guys can find that entrance there relatively easy. Um, I try to make it as easy as possible to actually be able to get into, you know, into the cave from the outside. And then of course, if you're flying via the Elytra, then, you know, it shouldn't be any issue to, um, you know, actually find the path and stuff like that. Uh, because here soon I am going to be removing all of those ladders because they, you know, they're, they're kind of in the way of, you know, actually completing the roof. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, definitely hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. It definitely helps out the channel. And it's always nice to see new faces in my little corner of YouTube. And if you want to be notified as to when I put out additional content, then definitely hit that notification bell. But for now, I'm going to call it. And I will see you guys in the next episode.